Hi, this is Emily the Songbird with another episode of an Odyssey of Song. Releasing the pool of the perfectionist. The perfectionist writes, paints, creates with one eye on the audience. Instead of enjoying the process, the perfectionist is constantly grading the results. That's a quote by Julia Cameron, the author of The World Famous Artist Way, a creative recovery book, which is what this program is. When I was 21, I received a beautiful Martin guitar and I was so excited because I thought that I was gonna be able to express all the deep emotion inside of me. But as I started to play it, I found that I became more frustrated and more blocked because it was hard to play. My fingertips hurt and it was hard to sing. It was like there was some sort of alien wanting to come out of me. And so it's been an incredible journey, but the journey has been about releasing the perfectionist. When I finally opened the channel, there was music inside of me. There were songs and there were stories. Creativity is a river that flows through all of us and connects so deeply to the source, the source of who we all are, which is love. I am, am excited because I would like to invite you to listen to a song that I wrote years ago called Dreams Are Alive. And I was watching this, I was watching a painting, actually this painting behind me is similar to it. It was of a mermaid that my mom painted. And I was looking at that painting and I thought, you know, I have a dream. I have a dream to sing. I have a dream to publish a book. I have a dream to express more of who I am, but I'm so terrified of what people are gonna think. And so I wrote this song and the chorus of it is dreams are alive, dreams are alive in me. And as I, I wrote the story of it, then more and more of that, that mantra came through. Yes, we all have dreams alive in us and it is our right and our privilege to be able to manifest those dreams and responsibility because when we manifest those dreams, we support and encourage others to do the same. When we emancipate ourselves, we encourage others to be free. So enjoy my song, Dreams Are Alive. Dreams are on the table, but my heart is on the floor. Seems I felt this way too many times before. Eyes are on the painting that Mother made for me. Met the girl with the guitar sitting on. There's a little pink dolphin peeking right between her knees. Perhaps this girl's a mermaid. Perhaps she is me. But the waves roll over her shoulder as the years pass me by. But these dreams. Bowed in prayers of peace as she cradles her 
Now that we've had a chance to listen to Dreams Are Alive, what dreams are alive inside of you? What is bubbling up and that you are afraid of? Is there a project that you've started that you you let go because you were worried? Maybe it was a book you put in your bottom drawer and you're like, ah, I was so afraid to, to get it out in the world. Was it, is it, um, artwork that you you want to start are there songs you want to learn to play the guitar what is it and and go and sit take some moments and sit with that perfectionist within you and ask it what what is your deal what are you doing it's it's just a, a part of the ego that is voicing a, a need to protect but if you have that masculine and that feminine in place then you are protected. You are protected by being the love that you are. And sharing your essence is a joy. It is a joy and it's what you're here to do. This is Emily the Songbird signing off and wishing you a musical and magical day. Namaste. <laughs>